Hi guys, I have reported a lot about the 13, I think 14 anomalies of interstellar object 3i Atlas that are really <laughs> space breaking, really incredible baffling scientists and there's no explanation for this behavior. But here's another theory that is also interesting and, and listen to this guys. What if an alien iceberg just exploded icy volcanoes inside our solar system and might even carry metal from another star? With alien iceberg, I don't mean like literal aliens. Interstellar object 3i Atlas is an alien visitor. Whatever it is, I'm always saying this, if it's a piece of rock, space junk, spaceship, or whatever the heck it is. It's alien, it's not from our solar system, and it's probably been traveling billions of years. So it might have cryovolcanism. That's the latest theory from scientists. So what is that, guys? So imagine a frozen object from another star system suddenly erupts like a volcano inside our solar system. Doesn't erupt lava, doesn't spit fire, but ice. Ice exploding into space. In my last video, we talked about that anti-tail that is like headlights of a car. Could that be it? We talked about that 3i Atlas might not be alone. Watch these videos, guys. They will blow your mind. I'll put them in the end screen, and I'll also put the 3i Atlas playlist in the end screen. And you could do me a big favor, guys. Please, right now, like and hype this video. Give it an early like and hype to support my channel. Thank you, thank you. But now let's talk about this. So what scientists think is now happening is cryovolcanism, that this is happening with a 3i Atlas. Trust me, guys, this story gets wild. And this theory is not from Harvard professor R.V. Loeb, but we will look into how this theory crashes or not with what R.V. Loeb is saying. So cryovolcanism, let's start with this. Let's start simple, right? We're talking a lot about volcanoes on this channel. So I think everyone, if you're a regular viewer, you know what a volcano is. So we know on Earth, most of the time, volcanoes erupt hot lava. But on icy worlds far from the sun, things are different. There, volcanoes could erupt cold. They shoot out water vapor, frozen gases, slushy ice, and even methane. And this is what is called cryovolcanism. Breaks your tongue, that word. So a cryovolcano is literally um, a cold volcano. So instead of lava, molten rock, it's called magma, while it's still inside the magma chamber, when it comes out, it's lava. You, instead of that, you get an icy, get icy jets spraying into space. We see this actually on other moons like Enceladus, on Pluto, and on distant objects that are beyond Neptune. So cryovolcanism is normal, but in the outer solar system. But on an interstellar object slash comet slash whatever the heck it is, that's something completely new. So it would be an anomaly, right? So, we've seen all the new images that the science took of interstellar object 3i Atlas in November and already in the first days of December. And they noticed something strange. Not only Avi Lopez is noticing something strange, the other scientists as well. Just not NASA, as it seems. They say it's all normal. Uh, they, don't they don't even address all these anomalies. You might have seen their press conference. So the coma of interstellar object 3i Atlas, the coma is the glowing cloud around the comet. It has spiral patterns and these jets that look exactly like the plumes that we see on icy moons. So could that be a natural explanation for these jets? 
Wouldn't we be disappointed that it's not the aliens coming? But they're not coming to Earth anyways. Uh, it seems they're targeting Jupiter. If you've seen my video, 3i Atlas changed the course in perihelion right towards Jupiter into Jupiter's hill radius. What's the probability for that? Well, all the calculations in this video, it's, I can tell you, it's, it's zero. So it's very, very strange. But okay, I see moons. So what is interstellar object 3i Atlas? Is it an icy moon that's moving through our solar system? Well, if these patterns are something like that, this would suggest that 3i Atlas may be erupting cryovolcanoes right now. And this is what we see. So really guys, imagine that a visitor from another star system is shooting ice geysers as it heats up near the sun. And we talked about this, it's rotating around its own axis once every 16.16 hours. And only when it's exposed to the sun, then it shoots these jets. But we have a lot of mystery about that because these jets don't behave in a way that this could be a natural explanation. You've probably, hopefully have seen my videos about that. But it gets even crazier, guys. I mean, with every video, I'm, I'm starting out, guys, this is really crazy. This is really space breaking. But aren't we all enjoying this? It's the mystery of 3i Atlas. So it gets crazier. The light reflected from 3i Atlas looks like old carbon-rich meteorites. It's hard for me to pronounce. Meteorites found in, no, listen guys, listen guys, Antarctica. What? So maybe the aliens are already here and they live in Antarctica, huh? <laughs> Who knows? No guys, really, this is, okay, listen. These meteorite, meteorites are breaking my tongue. They're full of metals and frozen gas. And that match suggests that interstellar object 3i atlas could be made of the same stuff as our trans neptunian objects these are these icy things these icy bodies that live far beyond neptune that we have discovered so basically what the theory of these scientists says it's like hey guys this interstellar object looks a lot like our own frozen worlds, Antarctica. Maybe other star systems create the same kinds of icy bodies that we do. And that's, again, huge, that's huge. Space breaking, comet breaking. Because that means our solar system might not be special after all. And we always thought that, right? There must be others. So cold, metal-rich, ice volcano worlds might be common in the galaxy, actually. Ice volcanoes, flying volcanoes. Who would have thought, guys, isn't that? I find this funny since we're so busy with the volcanoes on Earth and now they're coming from space and erupting stuff. So that's that conflict with Harvard professor Avi Loeb's anomalies. Um, I would say yes and no, and I'll explain to you why. So the cryovolcanism, um, whenever I hear cryovolcanism, guys, I, I have to think of some sci-fi um, movies that do like these cryo chambers where people freeze themselves for the future. So <laughs> let's have a little bit fun with this. So the cryovolcanism explanation is basically, for now, sounds like a safe, normal, scientific model that could explain some anomalies, maybe. So it says that 3i Atlas is just an icy object behaving like a comet from far away. But we know Avi Loeb points out things that don't fit so nicely into that explanation. We talked about this in my last video. 
a heartbeat-like pulse in the brightness, a very strong non-gravitational acceleration, a tail that might actually be made out of swarms of objects, and an extremely weird coincidence, this is the biggest thing for me, is in its orbit with Jupiter's hill radius. Guys, you have to see that video, because then I think this will change your thinking. This changed my thinking a little bit into thinking, maybe I'm tending to the version of whatever the heck it is, right? So these things, I mean, 14 anomalies right now. I have made videos outlining each one of them. All these anomalies make 3i Atlas look too, far too unusual for a normal comet. And Avi Loeb openly says, well, maybe it's not natural. Maybe it is artificial. We, we cannot rule that out yet. We need to wait for more data. So the cryovolcanism theory, yeah, it tries to explain um, what it could be, but they completely, they completely avoid mentioning the anomalies and they avoid trying to explain the anomalies that we have outlined. Basically tries to, to explain like, everything is normal with 3i Atlas and we know it's not. So yes, the two views definitely diverge. Basically, some scientists say, nothing to see here, natural icy volcano comet, although they admit it's unusual. The other, ver the other version says cosmic mystery, maybe even tech, but maybe normal too, or whatever the heck it is, right? So what do we have here? Well, I think it's also, the, the cryovolcano theory is also very interesting because we might watch the first ever interstellar cryovolcano entering our solar system. This is also cool. So an, an, an object that erupts ice instead of lava. So an object that resembles the frozen worlds at the edge of our own system. And even though it was born around another star, and at the same time, we have the unexplained pulses, strange motion, orbital coincidences that absolutely make no sense. They still do not make sense. Two completely different interpretations, both exciting, both mysterious. And honestly, I think the truth may be bigger than both. Who knows? I hope you found this interesting. Please subscribe, join our group, Volcanoes, landslides, um, eruptions, tsunamis, whatever, earthquakes, interstellar volcanoes. Join us, subscribe, click the notification bell so that you're always notified when I'm releasing the next video. If you want to buy me a coffee, keep me going. Link is in the description. Click the join button to become a supporting member for behind the scene videos. Thank you for your supers, for your support, for your overwhelmingly nice comments and really click here check out the channel and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> the mystery continues stay safe